Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 8, The Dutchman's Secret. And that's for Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. And as you can see, we get five of the eight required compasses. And uh, that's only because we had to. I won't lie. We're trying to save all the collectible stuff for our free play. And if you're looking for mini kits or the messages or ships in a bottle, my bad, then you're going to want to head on over to our free play videos. Uh, you can find it by searching level eight, the Dutchman's secret free play hyphen HTG. The HTG always helps because uh, if there are any other competitors or other people out there that have done it, uh, you know, you might be looking for ours. And that's the easy way to find us at HTG at the end. All right, so here we are. You can see we're uh, we're basically right before uh, some bad news. I won't spoil it for you if you haven't seen the movies or haven't played the game yet. But essentially, that's Davy Jones. He, at this point in the story, is not a very good friend of ours. And uh, he actually has bad plans for Jack Sparrow. But he is a pretty good organist. And you can tell his mom made him play uh, uh, lots of organ a as a child. He must have hated going to those lessons. Meanwhile, in the end, meanwhile, you can actually uh, run a pretty good uh, pirate army having some good uh, organ skills. So, a little fun fact for you. Didn't know if you know that or not. All right, so, whoa-oh. Uh row Doesn't look happy. Old Davy Jones. And we're going to start off. And basically, the goal here is to get to the end and to set Davy Jones straight. But we got to fight our way and free a couple dudes first. As you can see at the top there, there's three guys. And we'll start off by knocking some stuff around here, and it'll actually present us with the first guy, or some, some parts for the first guy. And then we'll find his broom in a second here, too, by using the, uh, well, I guess we don't use the compass to find it. We just kind of find it on our own, smashing and grabbing things. Now, throughout the ship, there are some purple tentacles. Those can be removed by using the little lights that are glowing and gleaming. They're little hand lanterns. You can see there's the broom down on the bottom side of the screen there. The broom will always be there, so smash it if you need it, or when you're ready for it, I should say. Smash it, and there it is. And when you pick it up, you'll actually get yourself a compass item. All right, use the light to make sure that the uh, tentacles go away, and then it'll drop some pieces, and check it out. Check, check, check it out. What's this going to build? What is it? What is it? What is it? It's a bootstrap bill sludge hole. I don't really know what they're called. But if you uh, use bootstrap bill, you can actually slither on through to the other side. And we'll figure it out here in a second. I gotta tell you, it's pretty easy to play this game, but when you're trying to do it methodically and look pretty doing it, it's not always easy. All right, we're starting to figure it out. There's not a whole lot to do with that over there. Uh, third time's a charm maybe, huh? Nope. No such luck. Alright, come up above and smash everything. You'll see more tentacles that you'll have to uh, use the old lantern to remove, and then you'll need old bootstrap to get in there. So we'll slide into the first slithery, slippery hole here. Get up above and smash some things around. You can see Davy Jones at the top there. Eventually here in a second we're going to get rid of that tentacle on the right. There we go, and drop it down, and we should get ourselves some bricks to build a nice little staircase. All right, so I still got the three dudes to get it obtained here. We're working on it. We're working on it, people. All right, there's not a whole lot in that clam just yet. We need to use Bootstrap. See, you just picked up the compass item, the broom there. And bootstrap will take you on up. You can smash some stuff. Make sure you keep a light because there are some tentacles up here. And they will get in your way. There's another item there if you just smash away. Again, we'll come back to all these and be a lot more specific of where these items are in our free play series. And if you notice, too, when we smashed that box that gave us the compass item, it actually freed one of our first guys that we needed to catch. And we got him so we can mark him off our list. So it's as simple as that. Smash that box once you get up top of Bootstrap, and Buddy will come up, and you will get him. Oh, yeah. All right, so you can hop over the ledge if you're tricky, or you can just use the little slippery green and yellow sludgy area to slither on through. And then you're gonna wanna pick up the broom and wait for it. There is a mini kit too right there off to the side. We don't wanna spoil it for you, but if you go off right in the middle there, you'll find it. 
But hey, don't you want to save all those for the final free play? Alright, so we're smashing away. We're going to go ahead and spin this little dial here. That's actually the third compass item. As you can see in the corner, it popped up. And once it gets all the way top, it drops it down and smashes. And guess what? It frees Buddy that wants the broom. So we'll go ahead and jump down there. Put him together. And you can see he wants the broom. We know where that's at. Oh, yeah. Get your sweep on, sir. Get your sweep on. Oh, to the, yeah. Two down, one to go. It's actually a pretty quick level if you know what you're doing. And look at me. Wee! I'm floating around. Not sure how that happened. Okay, all the way up top, there is a box that can only be opened with Blackbeard. And at this point, you should not have access to Blackbeard. So we'll talk about that another time. You can see there's a uh, giant fish or something hanging, so you're going to want to smack the target with one of Will's hatchets, and that'll drop it down below and give you some bricks to build. And make sure you get the, uh, the blue studs. All right. Here we are. Build them up, build them up, and guess what? It's another dude. Hey, yo. And all to the yeah. And we get inside. Rolling some dice. Looks like he's uh, hitting it big, too. Yahtzee! Hmm. That's no good. Ooh, that can't feel good or smell good or be good or anything. That's just got to be terrible. <clears throat> he says. All right, so he locked us away. No way we'll ever get out, right? Haha, <laughs> wrong. So, again, you know, smash and grab. Basically the key to this level things appear once you take them out and besides you get paid while doing it so we recommend just smashing as much as you can you can see a mini kit there we'll come back for that in free play I know you guys are probably tired of me saying that but I'm just letting you know what's going down you know alright so use the lantern from on the well there are many spots in the room that has lanterns and then it'll uh, make the tentacles go away and then you can push it push it real good we go. Gonna need go ahead and throw a sword in there first. But even before that, we're probably gonna venture on downstairs and see what's going down there, huh? Alright, still on a stud rampage. Do 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 that guy, he's like you woke me up from my sleep just to steal my money. That's right, buddy. All right. Once you stick the sword in there, it actually allows uh, the bar to slide, so you can use a, another character to push that green bar, and it will push the door open. We're not quite ready for that yet. We're going to go see what's going downstairs, as promised. All right. Cha-cha-cha-cha. Smash your way through all this. Some tentacles we need to remove. Confused with something else that rhymes with tentacles. We gotta be careful there. That's tricky. Alright. Cha 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 cha. Alright, so there are five of those. Uh, we'll take those out another time too. Another compass item that we accidentally found, which happens to be this barrel. And go ahead and do the dance a little jig on top of the barrel, which will actually open up top, which was preventing us from putting the sword in and then sliding it, which is why we weren't ready yet. Get back up there here in a hot second. We smashed a few things. Oh, look at that dude hanging out. Oh, we're totally going to ruin his nap hanging out in that hammock. All right. So, bootstraps. Got to go through the wall over here and then spin the wheel. The wheel of fortune. Nope, it's actually just a ladder to get back up. You're not going to have to worry about any uh, bankruptcies or any trips. You won't have to take time off work from your pirating. Let's just put it that way. All right, slide on through. The greasy, grimy gopher guts there that are the green and yellow sludge. Go back up, slide the sword in with Will, and then use Bootstrap to push the green panel there. And it'll slide the door open and bust it all cool, something fierce. And you can slide on in. Oh, yeah. Familiar scene up top, except for he's going into his little pirate hole. Not that pirate hole. Sillies. And we'll follow him right on in, because that's where the studs lead us. And 
after a quick compass checking. All right, so here we are. Uh, you can use Bootstrap right off the bat to slide into his little uh, thing there. And shout out to Pimp Lamp. What up, buddy? Once you use his little teleporter, it'll bring you over to the other side. And from here, you can use your sword to open up the two nozzles and allow the other guy, Will, to push the item into place. So here we go. So we're going to go ahead and push it in again. Boom. There it is. There's the, I don't know, slider, nozzle, whatever. And boom. That opens up. And there you go. Now you got this green piece, but where do you take it? Well, you got to spin the wheels. Once you spin the wheels, it'll actually change the ground in front of you. And if you keep doing this long enough, you will actually earn yourself a mini kit. I wasn't smart enough to figure that out right off the bat. But you do have to spin it a couple times in order to get across. And you can walk from corner to corner on some of these, but you cannot walk uh, through any of the running water. So you have to have access. And you can, you can see you can jump a little bit too. And all you have to do is simply put it on the glowing panel. Once you do that, you just got to match the color notes that pop up one by one, which are pretty simple. And you get all the way to the back, and we'll ring out a big old booyaka shout as soon as our buddy figures it out here. Come on, Will. All right. Boing. Boing. Ling. All right. Ling, ling, butterball sauce. Whoops. We got smacked around there, and guess what? He sends some baddies in for you if you make a mistake, so try not to make any mistakes. Otherwise, you'll find yourself battling baddies like us. All right. You do have to jump up and pull the lever to close the baddies. Otherwise, they'll keep coming. And I'm not sure why our partner here is having such a hard time. But that's artificial intelligence for you. It doesn't always work out the way you want it to. So there we go. Boom. And then light it up. It'll turn orange. The tentacles will go away. And it'll go into the final cutscene. <laughs> yeah, sneaky. Be sneaky. We want the key. We don't want to wake him. Yep, look at that. Put a banana in there. Gotta love Lego. Throwing their shenanigans in. That was a nice little bro hug, huh? It is his father, after all. Will! Bootstrap is your father! Yeah, and Davy Jones, clearly not a fan of bananas. And they're off. Too bad he's got some weird powers that can summon big things. Like the Kraken. Uh-oh. If you don't know what the Kraken is, uh, it's not fun. I don't know how to explain it. Like a giant octopus with, like, endless arms and lots of power. And we'll learn about that in the next one because that is what the next level is. So you can see we got Bootstrap Bill Turner now for our arsenal, and that's all we got. Got close to True Pirate, but not close enough. And we did add a few studs, but nothing too spectacular, especially considering how much money we have now. And all in all, it was, uh, you know, it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. We got five of the eight compass items. And even got ourselves a gold brick for completing the level. So, booyah ka -show. That'll actually wrap up the LEGO Pirates Level 8, the Dutchman's Secret Story walkthrough. And uh, we're excited. We got the free play on its way as well. And, yeah. Let us know down below what you think of the series. This is a viewer request. We've done lots of viewer requested videos, but we've never done a full series based off viewer requests. So let us know if this has been helpful for you. And if you're looking for mini kits and compass items, we will show all those in the free play. But uh, feel free to head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. Let us know if you have any questions about getting your own Lego drawn figure like you see uh, at the beginning and uh, at the end of our videos and in some of the middle too. That's our Thumby Lego. And uh, if you're interested or you want something, Fiverr.com. We got an artist over there that does great work, works really fast. And hey, Fiverr.com. It's five bucks a job. So uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. So oh yeah, head on over there now. Ugh. All right. Thanks for tuning in. As always, until next time. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life. Or